don't know the difference between a loof and a bite. A bite doesn't cross it's just like this. Lines parallel, that's a bite. It crosses, loop. So when it comes to tying knots with your cordage and stuff, you got your working end, which is your cut end, and then the rest of the line we're gonna call our standing end. What's up, Internet? Current 1776 here with another video. So we sent a tarp last month, and I got a lot of DMs, and I got a lot of messages, and a few emails from people that were really interested in seeing more knots. But these are knots that I use. It's quick, it's easy to put up, and easy to take down, and it works really, really well. So if you struggle with knots, and you know it looks like a bird's nest when you're done tying your knots, and um, things aren't staying tight, give this a shot, and I'm sure it's gonna help you out. All right, so the bowling, we got our working end here. I'm going to create a loop. I'm going to go in. Around the tree. The rabbit goes around the tree, back to the loop. Bowling. All right, so we're going to take this bowling. We'll put it in our mouth. <laughs> and I don't know, we're going to wrap around this tree right about here. A couple of times. We'll go through my bowling. going to put a hitch there. All right, so we'll start with that, see how that gets us. And then of course, when you pull the hammock, you know, all this is gonna bunch up you know, to your hammock. And depending on the distance that your trees are apart, you're gonna have to possibly adjust this. I'm gonna tie the bowling again. So this is from my other side. I'm trying to keep the hammock off the ground as much as possible. Bowling. And the bowling is nice for this because it's not going, this this circle here, this loop, isn't going to constrict down. It's going to maintain that shape when we put tension on it. So let's go to the other side. We're going to go around the tree a couple times. Ooh. Drop that down a little bit. All right, so there's the hammock thus far. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how I set up my ridge line real quick. Here I have my ridge line. All right, so my ridge line, I've got a loop here tied. Of course, my working in, I've got it thrown out there and I've got a little stick that I'm gonna use as a toggle. So I'm gonna go around the tree, create a bite or just stick your fingers through and grab the working end. Create your bite, put your toggle through the bite, tighten it to the loop. So all you're doing is creating a tension with a bite through that loop. That way when you're ready to go, all you gotta do is pull your toggle out and it comes off. All right, so through, Create bite, loop, toggle, boom. And then we go to the other side. Okie dokie, we on the other side now. So, get to the other side, here's my tree. I'm gonna make trucker's hitch. I like using trucker's hitches. Trucker's hitches, sounds funny. But I like doing the trucker's hitch. There's other knots you can do on this side, but I like the trucker's hitch. I can get it as tight as I want and it doesn't go anywhere. So to do that, Put your hand over the line, create a loop, right? Because my line is crossing. If I do this, I'm creating a loop, right? Grab your working end. Technically, you're making a bite. Pull it through some and go towards your tree. 
go towards where you're going to pull. If you do the same thing and you go away from where you, you're, pull, you're pulling from, when you go in it and you start to pull, the loop is going to collapse and tighten down into a knot. So this is the best part about it. When I'm done, just snatch it and it comes loose. Make a loop, reach through, make a bite, go towards where you're pulling. And that's what we created right there. All right, so now you go around the tree. I can go through my loop. All right, now I can pull and get this ridge line banjo tight if that's what I want. So I tighten it. Now I'm going to pinch all the lines. I didn't say lions, I said lines. That's southern for lines. I got it pulled, right? I got one, two, three. Counting this loop. I'm going to pinch it here. I'm going to create a loop. You gotta pinch it tight. All right, I'm gonna create a loop over or technically that's a bite. Bite over, grab my line. So that's the kind of the, the whole like gist of this video so far. Bites, loops, pull throughs, right? Lay it over, reach through, grab it, pull it away from the tree. And boom. Boing. Banjo tight. Now if you want, you can tie just a half hitch security loop there. It's not necessary. It's not going anywhere as long as you don't yank on this. So to get it down, you yank on the working end, it pops through, you yank on it again, the trucker's hitch knot disappears. You go over there, you pull your toggle, you're done. So like this Southern survival tarp that we just sent through has got grommets and then it's got these loops right here so how do i connect that to my ridge line well there's a knot called a prusik knot okay i like to use bank line for this because it's small and easy to manage so you just need a little bit just create a bite double it up and you can cut off your excess right here so basically i've got a 16 inch piece of bank line all I'm gonna do is put my two tag ends together and just do a simple knot. There we go. So a simple knot. Now I've got a loop, essentially, right? So this is how you tie a prusik knot. So on your ridge line here, you wanna lay your knot or your line over the top about halfway and you're simply just gonna keep looping the knot end over. I like to do three or four times. And try to keep your knots as your loops as neat as possible. And then all you're going to do is pull that in. As you can see, it creates that. And then bunch them together. So now what essentially we've done is we've created a way we can run this up and down our ridge line to attach to our tarp. But when we put tension on it, it will not move down the line in either direction. Okay, so we can simply take our tarp here, do it a couple ways. You could run through your loop or run through your grommet I'm gonna run through the grommet. So just pass that. That's another reason I like to use bank line. It'll pass through smaller areas easier. Run it through there. And then just take a piece of wood, stick, to call it a toggle, pass that through. So I'm just gonna put another prusik knot on this side, just like that. Grab my tarp. I'm gonna do this one through the loop just for demonstration. So I'm gonna go through the loop on this side and 
put a toggle in. So now I can pull this tarp tight. And as you can see, the tarp is tight across the ridge line. So I figured I'd show you guys a quick reminder of the Marline spike hitch, okay? I'm gonna take my hand, I'm gonna make a loop, fold it over, and I'm gonna run it, fold it over the line again. So now I got my loop over the line. Pull the line through, like so. So loop, loop over the line, pull the line through. Run your stake through there, pull your two lines away from each other, and that's the bar line spike hitch. So the second knot I'm gonna show you is called the clove hitch. I use clove hitches a lot. It works great, it's a really fast and simple knot to tie. It is relatively strong. It can slip a little bit, but there's a way around that that I'll show you, and it unties really easily too. So. Um, you can use the clove hitch to strap to a horizontal bar or a vertical bar. I, I find myself doing it a lot with horizontal bars, uh, posts, uh, boat cleats, things like that. So, I'm going to take the tag end of your cordage. I'm going to go over this bar, under, across over it. So I'm crossing back over, going under again, and then I'm coming through this loop that I made when I'm crossing it. And then you want the, uh, the tag end to go away from your main line. It's like this. So as you can see, it creates across here and binds onto itself, onto its tag end. So you got this here and crossing over. And it's relatively strong. As you see, it slips a little bit. There's an easy fix for that. Just do a simple stopper knot here and it won't pass through, okay? This is a really, really quick and easy knot. And, you know, depending on of course, what cordage you're using, it may slip a little bit more than others, but it's a relatively strong knot. And it's good to use, you know, if you wanna make a handle or anything like that, you can use the clove hitch. And again, it's simple to untie. Just grab where the cross is, lift up, Voila. And this is a whoopee sling. And what's cool about a whoopee sling is, not only is the name funny, but it is a buried suspension device, which means it's kind of like a Chinese finger trap. The line goes inside of itself here and I can adjust my hang by just pulling here to shorten the whoopee sling, or I can come back here and pull it out to lengthen the whoopee sling and then it's like a finger trap so it won't pull once it tightens on itself. So really cool suspension system. I like it because it gives me tons of adjustability. All right, so now I've got my whoopee sling attached to a toggle from a strap to the tree and attached to my continuous loop. So what I like about the whoopee sling is now, when I want to adjust my height, I don't have to untie knots. I don't have to retie knots. I don't have to do any of that. All I have to do is come right here where this tag is sticking out, pinch right here because this tag is running down the center of this cordage right here, this am steel. So when there's pressure on it, it tightens up like a, like a Chinese finger trap. But if I want to bring my hammock up here, all I gotta do is pinch here, grab my tag in, and pull it up. Now 
And then at the same time, if I want it to go down, I find where it goes in the middle, I pinch right there, I can pull it down and lower it down. What's up internet, Kern1776 here with another quick video for you. I wanna teach you guys or show you guys, if you don't already know, how to tie a straight lash. So a straight lash can be used for many different things. One thing you can use it for is fixing tent poles. If you got a tent pole that's split, an ax handle that's starting to split, it's, it's meant to lash things, tighten things back down together. I'm going to use the straight lash to make me a set of hooks that I can use over the campfire. I can hang my pot here and hang this from another branch that I'll stick in the ground so I can hang a pot over the fire. So I cut these so they'll fit together and I'm gonna use a straight lash right here. And here's how you do a straight lash, yo. So if you don't ever wanna make a set of hooks like this, just pretend this is an ax handle or a hammer handle or the broom got a split starting in it. This is how you can lash it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do, obviously is have some cordage. I got some bank line here. You're gonna create a bite and lay that bite down like this. Then you're gonna take your long end of your cordage. You're gonna start wrapping nice and even like that, all the way up to almost the end of this loop, but not quite. Just like that right there. So just neatly ran it up close to the loop. There's my loop. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the end that we were wrapping and just run it through the loop and hold it right there. And then now you grab your original end and you just pull and it's going to pull that other tag in into the lashing there. And there you have it. So now all you gotta do, trim your ends off. And that is the straight lash. Very strong, because once you pull that tag in back through, it really tightens this up. So there you go, the straight lash. Great for bushcraft or fixing things at home if you got a pole that needs to be fixed. Splitting. Take down, just as easy. Grab your tarp, pull it, get a little slack in it. You can slide, press it knock down. Take your toggle out and getting the press it knot off, you just grab that loop on the back and pull it and it comes right off. Goodbye toggle, goodbye tarp, grab that loop, pull it off. Now with this end, if you did a half hitch for safety, take that loose. All you gotta do is grab your tag in and pull that through. Just like that. Pull that out your knot. The loop you made, it's gonna be a little hard sometimes. Just give it a snap, comes right off. So, so far we don't have any knots left on our paracord. Then this one here is just as simple as taking your tag in, pulling it, and you're done. So now you just hank up your paracord, roll up your tarp, you're done, you don't have any knots, any frustrations or anything putting up and taking down your ridge line. Yeehaw. So I hope you guys found this video informative. If you already know how to tie knots, great. Maybe you learned something. Maybe you can teach me something. Let me know down in the comments. If you've never seen this before, go outside and give it a shot. Take your kids with you because they need to learn how to tie knots too, right? No more bird's nest. No more knots that you can't get out. Yeehaw. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, I appreciate you watching. It's getting hot. As you can see, I'm sweating. I'm gonna go inside now. <laughs> so be sure to like and comment down below and share with your friends. And I'll see you next week with another video.